Oh, thank God it's over. Four nights in a row, hour after hour of the DNC infomercial, their virtual convention, which consisted of hundreds of pre-recorded video clips and speeches, which made Hollywood award shows seem exciting by comparison. The waste of time began with actress Juliette Louise Dreyfus, best known for playing Elaine back in the 1990s on Seinfeld, trying what I guess were supposed to be jokes. Hi, Andrew. It's so glad to see you. So what did you think about Kamala Harris's speech last night? It was tremendous. I was so happy for her. I know, me too. She's fabulous. I cannot wait to see her debate our current vice president, Mika Pints. Or, uh... Is it paints? It's pronounced Ponce, I believe. Oh, some kind of weird foreign name? Yeah, not very American sounding. Yeah, that's what people are saying strongly. Well, uh, thank you, Andrew, and please give my regards to the gang. I will, they're right in the next room. Have a great night, Julia. Thank you so much. Apparently this was supposed to be making fun of Republicans who don't know the proper pronunciation of Kamala Harris's name. Up until last week, practically the entire country called her Kamala Harris until she was picked for Joe Biden's running mate and then clarified that her name is Kamala, not Kamala. And now all the Democrats are virtue signaling that they know how to pronounce her name properly. Kamala Harris. It was an endless stream of short clip after short clip of virtually every Democrat in the country giving their two cents about why Joe Biden should be the next president. I'm voting for Joe Biden because the Democrats are going to implement the universal basic income, a UBI, which means I'm going to get $2,000 a month for free for doing nothing, paid for by taxing those people who do work. Others, like California Governor Gavin Newsom, didn't get the memo that unless you're making a video for TikTok, you need to turn your phone sideways to landscape mode when you record, Otherwise, you get those two big bars on the side and look like a moron. But noticeably absent, however, was Tulsi Gabbard, who was not invited to participate in any way, despite actually making it to several debates and winning some delegates. She went too far against the grain of the Democrat Party and refused to get in line. I don't think billionaire Tom Steyer was included either, but it wasn't on purpose. They just forgot he exists. He's the guy who wasted hundreds of millions of dollars over the last few years putting ads on television and everywhere else trying to get President Trump impeached, which actually happened, but everybody forgot about that too. Captain Planet, he's our hero. DNC didn't invite him because he's a weirdo. With my billions combined, I am Captain Planet. I only shower once a month to conserve water. My wife's boyfriend is a vegetarian to reduce his carbon footprint. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is the Einstein of her generation. I install wind generator at my apartment. I eat bugs instead of burgers. That way I don't contribute to the industrialized meat industry. Tom Steyer's still gonna waste millions on TV ads though. Yay! Joe Biden did his best to prove that he has the strength and the stamina to stay up past his bedtime and read a teleprompter for a few minutes and imagine what it was like to be the president. Thankfully, President Trump called in to Sean Hannity's show and gave us something coherent to listen to instead. Well, he hasn't answered a question since uh, mid-July, as what they reported tonight. And I'm just saying, you know, I'm answering questions all day long. Every time I pass reporters, I'll stop. I'll say, go ahead. What do you want to know? Well, technically, Mr. President, he did do one interview in the last month. I have a whole list of things that I want and I wish and I desire uh, for our next president to do for us. But first thing first, let me keep it a buck. I just want Trump out. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like... The name's Joe. I'm well, hello there, Joe. Uh, come on. Hi, this is how Ashley. Are you? Good, how you doing? That's rapper Cardi B, perhaps one of the only people on planet Earth who could make Joe Biden seem intelligent by comparison. And of course, the mainstream media mockingbirds didn't just say that Joe Biden's speech is good or even great, they said it was the best one of his entire life. It was truly indeed, and, and I agree with Jake, it may have been the best speech that Joe Biden ever delivered. 
Yeah, I mean, we've seen a, a number and heard a number of uh, remarkable uh, speeches uh, by uh, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, obviously former President uh, Obama. Anderson's such a good improvisational actor. That's why he gets paid $50,000 a show or $12 million a year. Not a joke. Not a joke. Fact. Not a joke. Fact. Not a joke. Not a joke. No, no, think about it. I'm not joking. No, I, I really mean that. I'm not joking now, okay? You're right, Joe, that wasn't a joke. $12 million a year is a million dollars a month divided by five shows a week. That's $50,000 a night. Come on, man. And it's in old Joe's honor that I've released my new, come on, man, Trump 2020 shirt. Get shares from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below. And if you use the promo code old Joe at the checkout, you can save 20% off of that shirt or any of my awesome designs through the end of the month. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below. Enter the promo code old Joe at the checkout and check them out.